Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chris. Welcome to Linux Tech Geek. So in today's video, I want to show you a shell plugin that will allow you to traverse your directory structures faster. Now, if you spend a lot of time in the shell, in the terminal, like I do, then you know when you start getting five or six directories, you know, deep within the directory structure, it can take a lot of time to traverse those directories. So luckily for us, there is a plugin that we can enable in all the shells. And uh, yeah, this program is pretty cool. It's super easy to set up. So let's go ahead and jump over to the desktop and we'll talk about it. <clears throat> Here we are, we're on the desktop and the plugin that I'm talking about is Z Oxide. So Z Oxide does have a GitHub um, and it's not in the um, right now i'm on gen 2 it's not in the gen 2 repository um i think in nix os though it was in the nix packages but it, regardless um you can just get clone the repository install it um and i'll show you guys how we can set this up now before we do there is a lot of things that you can pretty much do with this uh, plug-in or whatever you want to call it this program and I didn't do a whole lot there's also a lot of third-party uh, integrations like you can you can make it work with Ranger, NNN, uh, Telescope for NeoVim, uh, NeoVim actually has a plug-in Emacs, you guys know I love my Emacs, but I had not set this up for Emacs yet. And really, in this video, we're not going to. The only thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is set this up for your shelves. Okay, and then I'll show you guys how it kind of works. Um, they claim, though, that it is a faster uh, CD command, which, yeah, um, it, it's, it's really good. And um, it does save a lot of time. All right, so... Once we already get cloned the repository and we install it and everything, you can check to see if it works. You know, of course, by typing Zoxide, and right here you can see that mine is working. So the way that we have to get this to actually work, right, is we have to put this and we have to evaluate it in our shelves. So, um, right now I'm in the bash shell. So the way that we could do this is we could do zoxide init bash. And what this will do, this will tell you the exact command that you need to put in your bash RC file. So you can see right here, this eval zoxide init bash, right? Same thing if we was running the ZH, ZSH shell. So we could do zoxide init zsh, and it will tell you exactly what to do right here. Now, if we was running the fish shell, the fish shell is a little different, but again, init fish, and it will tell you exactly what to put in your config.fish uh, fish file, right? After you do that, we have to, you know, of course, we have to source our uh, uh, whatever shell... Um, configuration file that we're using so i've already added this to zsh but i haven't um evaluated it with a, a bash rc as you can see so i'm going to write it okay we're going to quit and then i'm just going to source uh bash bash rc okay now that i sourced it it should be working it does. Okay. So the way that we use this program or, you know, whatever, whatever you want to call it, right? The way that we use it, we don't type in Z oxide, right? We, we don't do this. All right. There is a shorthand that we use and it's just called Z. So for instance, so let's go ahead and traverse deep into whatever directory that we want to get into and let's add it because we we need to add directories to this thing right now i'm pretty sure that it it remembers stuff um that's what i was reading on one article but 
Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that, but it works 100% if you add it um, kind of to the, the program itself, right? So let's do, con let's do config. Um, we'll do xmonad. All right, and you can see right right here, we're at homechris.config xmonad. Well, I can do z add. Um, or z oxad, sorry. Z oxad add. And now you can see we didn't get the error this time or anything like that. Okay, so how does this work? Well, let's say that if we're back in our home directory, right? And instead of typing, you know, cd, config, xmonad, whatever. What if we just quickly wanted to get into our xmonad config? Well, we just type in z, xmonad. And look how fast that switched directories, right? That's super cool. And you can do this anywhere, anywhere that you're on a file system. So if I was in etc... All right, so I'm in the ETC folder, Z, Xmonad. And I quickly go back to the Xmonad directory, okay? And that is super, super helpful because you can see that we have a lot of directories here. And these things just, you know, sometimes these go really deep, you know, um, it, especially if you set your stuff up kind of the way I do mine. Um, now let's do another one. Let's do another one. Um, so let's go back home and I'll do um Ooh, I know a good one. My dot files. Or no 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 no. Because I don't have my dot files on here. Let's do documents. Let's see what's in documents. I'll do you know it, it doesn't it doesn't matter, right? Um We'll do Yazi. So Z oxide add alright. And now, if I do that, and then Z, Yazi. Boom. And Yazi. Z, uh, Xmonad. In Xmonad. And you can keep just doing this. And it's super, super cool. It's, it's really helpful. Um, and it just saves you some time. Okay, and like I said, this works exactly the same way as it does in uh, Bash. So if we're in ZSH, now I already have it working pretty much in ZSH. So if I do Z X Monad, you are already in the only match. Oh, okay, okay. So Z X Monad, boom. You can see now we're in the X Monad directory, right? Or Z uh, Yazi, boom. Now we're in the Yazi directory, all right? Uh, does it remember? All right, Z oxide. Um, so Z video. How's that work? Yeah, it does go to video. Okay, cool. So yeah, I mean, just simple stuff like that, you know, and. Like I said, you can set this up for fish, bash. Um, you can set this up for fuzzy finding, even though I haven't kind of figured that out yet. I've only been playing around with this plugin for, I don't know, maybe not not really that long. Um, I think I installed it like the other day, and, and I finally got it to work here on Gen 2 uh, maybe an hour ago. Um, but there is fuzzy finding stuff with it. I think it's ZI. Yep, yeah, there we go. So ZI. So you can see if we type in ZI, look at it. We got fuzzy finder stuff with it, right? And imagine if you added, you know, you can, if you added 50 directories to this damn thing, how quickly you could switch directories, right? So we could do that. ZI. Um, we can do Z oxide. Boom. One of Z oxide. How cool is that? Now, for fuzzy finding to work, you do need fuzz, fuzzy finder uh, installed. It's uh, FZF, I believe, is the uh, the proper program. Um, let's figure this out. Z oxide, yeah, FZF right there. So you do need to install FCF if you want the fuzzy finder uh, stuff working. But you can see it, 
it's just it's super cool okay um and we can switch back and forth from bash to shell i mean bash zsh fish whatever zi and you can see that fuzzy finder and the uh you know zi oxide work hand in hand in all of the shelves so that's pretty much it guys i just wanted to make a quick video letting you know about this because i know a lot of you guys spend a lot of time in y'all's terminals and uh yeah it can save you some time and uh hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video please give me a thumbs up it does help out the channel and um, i want to thank all the new subscribers that i'm getting and uh yeah until next time you guys take care be safe Peace. Bye, guys.